fatty fat people! What are you laughing at? She's not a fatty fat person, so she doesn't get that part of the story. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're wonderfully perfect, Bupke. Yeah, okay. Okay, hey, some good news. Um, a guy named American Wayne has decided to join the group, and I'll put a link to the video that he did. He did his weigh in, weighed in on the 6th at 328 pounds, and uh, uh, I think he's a youth pastor or something like that. But anyways, born again, Holy Spirit filled Christian. Love to have him on board, and you know he knows he needs to get this done, and um, so anyways, praise the Lord. Say hi, Bupke. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. Huh? You want to say something to the fat people? What do you have to say to fat people? <laughs> to fat people in general? No, to us fat well, people. You know, our little, our fatso group. No, I think y'all are doing great. Um, you got my support. Keep up the good work, you know? I mean... Amen. You know, even just, just, just being able to tell the whole world on YouTube that you need to lose weight is huge. Yeah. It's a huge step. <laughs> I agree. You know... Y'all are doing awesome. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people. There, look. You know, there's there, most people are in the same boat. Yeah. I mean, I can stand to lose a few pounds. But a lot of people just don't want to admit it. You know, I, I tell you what, man. For me, calling myself fat was a turning point. <laughs> I had to say, I'm fat, and that ain't where it's at. Want to be a cat? No rhymes, huh? That. Splat. It's too early. Yeah. Times. Yeah. Where yeah? That's New Orleanian. Um, okay, look. I want to tell you a story. Because I said I'd tell a story on the other channel. Talk about what, but whatever. What, first of all, what I ate yesterday was a power... Well, let me let me tell the story. <laughs> it's going all over. Ah! All over the place. Um, okay. It's a miracle that Caroline and I are here. We, we, we were... We, you know, we almost died yesterday. Um, I told you we we were buying that our, our restoration car project, 72 Chevy Chevelle station wagon out of the Ninth Ward, uh, rough part of town in New Orleans. So anyways, we tried to get a trailer, couldn't get a trailer. Then they had a trailer over at the place where we have our warehouse. And so it was perfect, an auto hauler. So I hook it up to the truck, no problem, you know, get it all hooked. No, of course, didn't have any brake lights or anything. It's an old beat up trailer. So, you know, it's like, okay, whatever, I'll risk that part. So we're driving, we got to go over across the, what's called the Crescent City Connection Bridge over the Mississippi River. And we go through this toll booth thing and the back wheels, the trailer's a little wider and you know, those, those things are narrow and it kind of like hit the curb a little bit, right? And as I'm pulling through, I'm starting to speed up and all of a sudden I notice the trailer's like not on the truck anymore. The safety chain held it, but it was like dragging along, God bless you, dragging along the ground. So I stopped it with the truck. So here we are. The trailer's on the ground, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, picked it up, got out on the bridge, picked it up, put it back on the truck. And I'm thinking, like, how did that come off the ball, you know? And so anyways, and we go over there to load the, tr load the car onto the trailer. And we got the ramps down. It's pouring down rain. And uh, drive the car up, get the car halfway up there, kind of bounced on the trailer. And then the ramps fell off and couldn't get the back end of it up on the trailer. I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh man. So then I go into the front of it, and the, the, the tongue had lifted up off the ball and went through the bumper, through the license plate, like pierced right through the license plate, and it was sitting against the spare tire. I'm like, oh, this ain't looking good. So I got that, I got the, the trailer sitting through the bumper, I got the car halfway on the trailer, and the ramps are off. So it was like, and it's pouring down rain. I'm thinking like, I don't think God wants us to do it today. Or this way you know what I'm saying and so wisdom took over and said you know what let's get the car off the trailer and let's take the trailer back and come back with the real trailer and so anyways we paid the guy and uh, uh, we made it back to the warehouse <laughs> we're praying the whole time oh Jesus help us get it back but let me tell you something man my nerves were shot all I could all I could think of was when I was driving that I was just like my ball was in my stomach was in a knot, you know, and I was like, oh man, I tell you, I haven't drank for years. I quit drinking a long time ago, but I was thinking like, man, I need a drink. 
<laughs> my nerves are shot. And uh, so anyways, then then the, the, the emotional eating kicks in. And I'm thinking like, I'm going to eat like two Whoppers and fries. And I mean, I'm just going to go for eating, man. Well, it was about 12.30 and we drove back. And anyways, I bought a bag of chips, kettle cooked chips. And um, it was either chips or scotch. And uh, so anyways, oh, and I bought a bag of uh, boiled shrimp, which was good. That was good protein. But I ate that bag of cheddar or uh, jalapeno. You ate the whole bag? I did. Oh, I, I didn't whole, know that. I ate the whole bag of chips. Oh. And uh, uh, kettle, you know, tons of fat and all that stuff. And, then I had some York peppermint patties, and um, I mean, it was just like I needed some. I needed something to calm my nerves, man. And I'm not saying that, but, you know, look, that was how I would medicate myself, you know, for a lot of years. And that's one of the issues I have with eating is, you know, those kind of things happen, and I just want to pig out, man. And then, of course, like Lori was saying, as soon as you pig out and you do that, you feel guilty. There's just a couple of seconds of satisfaction, and then all of a sudden, then you feel guilty while it's in your gut and all that. And, uh, you know, but so today I got, you know, but then I came home and all I had was a, a you know, a light version of the shake um, for dinner. And so I was good, even though I wanted to kind of power down a bunch of food at night, too. I was still sh shook up. But um, anyways, that's what I had yesterday. So, you know, uh, just just something I struggle with man things go wrong and I'm like let's eat but I know you know Jesus had it all he had our backs he had us protected and he had a reason for not doing it you know one of the things that happened was um, when the guy was telling us the price of what he wanted to sell us for he, 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 he had it in the paper for 1200 bucks and went and looked at his stuff and young guy like him nice guy and you know trying to make it in a rough neighborhood and um, he's plumbing and owns some properties and all this stuff anyways he told us when we were there, he said, well, I'll sell it to you for 600 And uh, I told Caroline, I, you know, I said, I ain't, I ain't buying it for 600 You know, we're not going to pay it. We'll pay, you know, we'll pay him more than that. So, um, anyways, yesterday when all that happened, I, you know, at the end of it, I mean, the guy was always kind of standoffish to me, you know, to a degree. And, uh, and then uh, yeah, we were paying him, and I, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and, you know, and I gave him a couple more, and, He's like, he's looking at me like, what are you doing, man? And I said, I, I ain't buying it for 600 man. I, I, it's, it's worth more than that. Man, if you could have seen the look on that guy's face. It's like I rocked his entire world, man. It's like, I, you know, it's like, what? You're doing what? You're paying me more? I mean, you know. And uh, so anyways, it was, that was, you know, God has a plan and a purpose for all that. You know, and I talked to him on the phone afterwards and the whole relationship has changed big time. And, and you know, it's almost like we're buddies now, you know. Which is very cool, very cool. So, um, anyways, all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Romans eight twenty eight. So, you know, I need to work on just pressing more into Jesus when those emotional things happen, and, and uh, not so much the food thing because it's Lori's right. As soon as you're done eating, you feel guilty. So. You know, just press into God. But anyways, God bless you guys. Brian, you're doing a great job. Love the reporting. Love the videos. Um, Lori, she's cranking along. Um, myself, uh, American Wayne, and Big Mike. So Big Mike, we got to, you know, stay in here. Keep talking. Everybody keep talking. Walk yourself through. When you speak with the... What the challenges are, when you speak those 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 issues, man, it's, it's almost like it takes the power out of them. So thank you guys so much. I love hearing what you're doing. So I just got back from working out. Get into the gym too. Work out. It helps a lot. Brian, get up and walk around a little bit or something, man. God bless you guys. Take care. Have a great day, fatty fat people. Love you.